Hi, I am Rekha. Rajasthan is known for its vibrant colors and spicy curries. Today I am going to make Rajasthani gatte curry. To know the recipe, keep watching. To make gatta curries, we will require 2 cups of besan or chickpea flour, 2 tablespoons of vegetable oil, half a cup of tomato puree, 1 cup of thick yogurt, 1 teaspoon of turmeric powder, a pinch of baking soda, 1 cup of chopped onion, salt to taste, 1 teaspoon of coriander powder, 1 teaspoon of cumin seeds, 5 to 6 cloves, 1 teaspoon of mustard seeds, 1 teaspoon of red chilli powder and water for kneading dough and boiling gattas. To start with, we will make gatta dough. Take chickpeas flour in a bowl, add half a teaspoon of red chilli powder, salt as per your taste and a teaspoon of coriander powder. A pinch of baking soda to soften the gattas. Now I'll make a dough with adding water little by little. When you are making your dough, take care that you add water in smaller quantities because we want a stiff dough, then you make your roti dough. So our dough is almost done now. So I'm going to heat some water to boil the gattas. So our water is boiling, by the time I will roll out some gattas. To make gattas, you need to grease the surface. Take out small portion of dough and start rolling gattas like this. Your dough needs to be of stiff consistency so that it rolls out nicely and when you boil it, it cooks properly. So our gattas are ready and now I am going to add them to boiling water. Water has started to boil, one by one I am going to drop them in water. So whenever you are adding gattas to water, that gram floor has a tendency to create froth. So that's why we reduce the flame so that we can control that froth. So these gattas will take 10 to 15 minutes to cook. By the time we can make curry base for the gatta curry. To start the curry, we'll take one pan, add two tablespoons of oil to it. I am going to start with adding cumin seeds, cloves and mustard seeds. In a minute or two, seed will start to pop and this time we add chopped onions to them. So our onions are translucent and pink now. I am going to add tomato puree to it. By the time our tomatoes are cooking, I am going to whisk in some chickpeas flour with yogurt. I have added 2 cups of water to this. I am going to add 1 more cup of water now. Finally, you can add a teaspoon of salt or salt as per your taste, turmeric powder a teaspoon of that and a teaspoon or there about red chilli powder. And I'll whisk our yogurt. So oil has started to leave the sides of pan. That means our masala is cooked. Now I'm going to add in yogurt mixture to the masala.
mix it nicely. So let's have a check on our gattas. Yeah, they are done. I'm with the slotted spoon. You can take them out of the pan. We'll let the water remain in the pan because we can use it to adjust the consistency of curry later on. So our gattas are all ready. I'm going to cut them into half an inch pieces. All the gattas are cut now. By the time I'll check the curry. Curry is almost done. Now I'm going to add gattas to it. Mix it well. Now we'll allow these gattas to cook for four to five minutes so that to absorb the flavors from the curry. This is our gatta curry. If you like the recipe, subscribe to India Food Network and do write in your feedback to us.